Google the best studio headphones for the last few years and it won't be unusual for you to find the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros amongst the contenders. People like their sound, build quality and comfort, but there are some newer kids on the block. Let's take a look. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. If you're looking for studio headphones, then I reckon the DT770 Pros from Bayer Dynamics should definitely be on your shortlist. But how do they compare to the newer DT700 Pro X, also from Bayer Dynamic? Well, I've been testing them out in three important areas, build and design, comfort, and of course, sound. Now, if you want to buy either of these pairs of headphones, check the links in the description down below. But do hear me out first. Let's get started by taking a look at build and design. Both of these headphones are closed back, which means they can be used for mixing, but excel during the recording or tracking process. They're both built well, using hard plastic for the ear cups, metal hinges with a simple robust design, a cushion headband, and those rather iconic grey velour ear pads. They are similar in size, however, the older DT770 Pros are a little lighter, weighing in at 270 grams, whilst the newer DT700 Pro Xs weigh 350 grams. Both have replaceable headband cushions and ear pads, and it's with the ear pads where we find the big point of difference. The outer diameter of the new 700s is noticeably smaller. However, the inner diameter is pretty similar, so they should accommodate similar ear sizes. However, the new 700s have a much thicker ear pad, and I'm not exactly sure why, but for me, this resulted in a better fit to the head, which in turn noticeably improved isolation, seemingly without the need for extra pressure. Now, as much as the older 770s have been loved, people have not always loved the attached coiled cable. It can feel heavy, and I always find them difficult to manage during recording. This has all been fixed with the new 700 Pro Xs, which sport detachable cables via a mini XLR connection. Interestingly, in the box you get two straight cables, a 1.8 and a 3 meter. But for those of you who do love coiled cables, these are available from the Bayer Dynamic website. So aesthetically and functionally, there's been some interesting changes, but how does that translate into comfort? Comfort is so incredibly important when you're using headphones in the studio. You're gonna be using them for many hours, and that could even affect the performance of an artist who is using them. Now, the DT770 Pros have been well known for a long time for being very comfortable headphones. It's one reason why people buy them, and it's certainly a reason why they continue to use them. Now, although they are noticeable lighter than the new DT700 Pro X's, I reckon the new guys have the slight edge in terms of comfort. Why? Well, I think firstly, because you don't have that heavy coiled cable hanging down and sort of weighing you down. And secondly, I think the new design of the ear pads really helps with comfort. And it seems to affect the amount of pressure which is required for the headphones to maintain their excellent isolation attributes. So I think it's a little bit of a win here for the DT700 Pro Xs. However, both of these headphones are very comfortable headphones but that is no use unless the sound is right. The DT700 Pro Xs have the completely new Stellar 45 drivers. Now, both headphones start their frequency response from 5 Hz, but the new 700s extend the upper end from 35 to 40 kHz. With both headphones, we see a pretty flat response from around about 200 Hz to 2 kHz, and both have a noticeable lift at 10 kHz. Remember, no headphones have a completely flat response, so you still still need to learn the strengths and weaknesses of yours for mixing. These response graphs suggest that the new 700s have a little bit more oomph on the lower end. However, graphs are one thing and experience is another. So the rest of what I'm about to say is far more subjective and I want you to keep a couple of things in mind. The size and shape of your head and the way that those headphones fit it can affect the sound of headphones. Also, I have been using the DT770 250 ohm versions, whereas all of the new DT700 Pro Xs are 48 ohms, and there can be slight differences when headphones have different impedances. 
But with all of that said, here's what I felt with the differences subjectively when I listened to these. First of all, with the new DT700 Pro Xs, I definitely felt more oomph in the low end. I shouldn't probably say oomph because I don't want to say that they're sort of hyped in that area. No, that's not true at all. But it is just a fact, I think, that the DT770 Pros were a little lacking in that area. I never felt that I've been able to trust the low end of a mix with these. I felt that it was much, much better with the DT700 Pro Xs. I also found with these headphones that there was a little bit lacking you might say or a little bit more subdued in some areas of the high end specifically at around about five kilohertz now i tested and tested and tested again isolated those frequencies that's definitely what i was hearing now that does defy the graphs that we looked at earlier but as i say your experience can be a little bit different to the graphs Either way, these are excellent headphones in terms of sound, but I'm going to give a nod to the newer ones, just a little bit in terms of accuracy, especially in the lower end. So before we get into my conclusion, let's talk about price. Now, do check the links in the description down below for the current prices. However, at the time of making this video on Sweetwater, the DT770 Pros are $159, whereas the newer DT700 Pro Xs are $279. Now, that's a solid 75% increase. So if budget is an issue for you, then definitely go for the DT770 Pros. They are tried and tested, they're reliable, they're comfortable, and you can do a pretty decent mix on them once you get to know them, once you learn where their good points and their slightly less good points are. However, Overall, I definitely think the DT700 Pro Xs are a better headphone. Firstly, they've improved that design of the cups. That seems to mean that they need less pressure on your head to achieve what are really excellent isolation properties. They seem to leak a little less than the DT770s did, and they were already pretty good. The next thing is that cable. Thank you, Bad Dynamic, for fixing the cabling issues of these headphones. It's great that they're detachable. It means you can swap them out for the kind of cables that you prefer, whether that be straight cables or curly cables. Now, finally, I do think the sound is a little bit more accurate. As you heard me say earlier, especially in the low end, I think I'm going to be able to trust these ones a little bit more. So overall, they are the better headphone. Now, if you are a loyal and experienced user with these old DT770 Pros, but it's time for a change, perhaps your old ones have worn out and you're thinking about replacing, then I think you'll be really pleased with these new DT700s because they sort of have all the good things of this these headphones without the sort of bad things. And they've improved things definitely. So if that's you, then I'd spend a few more pennies go for these ones. Now, if you'd like to look at some other headphones in different price ranges, then check out my playlist just here. I've gone through quite a few of the more common headphones in previous reviews, and you can make the right choice for you. <laughs>